So I've done two reactions to Sabaton so far. My homie TJ Clown said this was one I should probably go to next. Now, uh, I have not gotten the second Sabaton reaction uploaded because YouTube put the kibosh on that particular video. Be that uh, as it may, uh, No Bullets Fly, an animated short story. I've really liked Sabaton. I really like their combination of history and metal. I feel like if you put metal to history, more people would learn history and potentially it'd be less likely to repeat itself. Metal should save people. Remember that. Guys, uh, before I hit the play button here, it's incredibly important to me that you understand that you are awesome, that you are valuable, that you are important, that you matter, that you're deserving of love, and I'm abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me out. Um, and if you really like what you see, join us on Twitch. Do these uh, reactions with us, with the wonderful community that just wants to tell you that you matter and that you are welcome. Guys, uh, the the chat over there, they're the best people. They just want to tell you that you're awesome. Guys, let's check out Sabaton No Bullets Fly, the animated story video. It's December the 20th, 1943, and in the freezing air high above Germany, 2nd Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, Ye Old Pub. I love that the name of his airplane is Ye Old Pub. If I ever have an airplane mine might be called ye old tavern at 11:30, approaching the target of the focke wolf plant near bremen the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the b-17 a cry comes across the intercom we're hit in the plexiglass nose a huge hole had been made an icy cold wind was being blown inside making freezing conditions for the crew Engine 2 had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing, releasing their... That would be so scary to be that high up, it immediately becomes freezing. You see a fucking hole in your airplane's wing, and you're like, hey, I better drop these bombs. Bombs over the factory. The crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out, and what is up, Dravian? Fantastic to see you. And engine four now faulty. The pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eggy shouted, as five BF 109s streaked from the cloud bank. Fighting in the air just seems so scary to me. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadek, took out the second. Pinky reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF-109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. That did not take, I, I, of course I have no concept of how long this firefight may have taken, but like, it doesn't seem like it took that long for the guns to freeze and for all this stuff to happen. War is terrible. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Just moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. So that was a pretty heavy intro, I'm going to be honest, but uh, like then it came in with metal and that was dope.
But through the bombers damaged every Two wounded men scared to the bone Look to the right and then look again And see the enemy in the eye No bullets fly, spare by his masses Escorted out, out of arms way fly Fighting fair is the code I like how Sabaton had its own animation like of animated band there at the bottom watching the planes fly and war above. That's pretty cool. that guitar solo those tones are those tones are nice really like the speed metal kind of sound of guitar like when it sounds like it could be in an anime intro really gets me psyched <laughs> free fall for four miles that is nuts the story was kept secret until 1986 when brown started the search for the german pilot who had shown mercy on that december day all those years ago in 1990 brown received a letter from a man named stigler who was living in canada stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the german fighter who had escorted ye old pub this video is of their first meeting Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the well, first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him. How about him? What's the DJ? The the fact that he risked his life really in many ways. And I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you uh, if you made a habit i feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz flying up alongside them. I am sure that you were shot down many times, but it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. 
On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. Wow. Hi, my name is Jovita Ten Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. <laughs> You're kind of emotional. <laughs> they went on tour. That was really moving. I think that that is a really, really beautiful story of humanity. And honestly, like, I'm, I'm literally, look at these. Like, I have actual chills. Like, this, this is, like, I, 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 I live in a fucking desert and I have actual chills. That is a moving story. And look, I, I hope that in whatever situation life deals you, you are willing to be the bigger person, regardless of the personal cost to you. I think that this world doesn't get better without a sense of altruism. Um, and I would just challenge anybody that's, that's watching or hearing this to do the right thing for the sake of it being the right thing, uh, whether it's war or peace, um, it matters. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for the positivity you show both to me and to one another. And I just ask that you continue to do the same, not only to me and to one another, but to humanity. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye.